It's been a little over a year since the Trust applied for funding to create the Darnford Moors Ecology Park. A successful bid was made to the ERDF and HS2 Community Fund allowing work to start on Phase 1, east of the lift bridge. Another successful bid was made to Biffa Award for Phase 2 and 3, the section from the lift bridge to Darnford Lane. By engaging specialist contractors, on-site Central Limited, for the lining work, as well as by using volunteer effort for pretty much anything else, the Trust has been able to make remarkable progress in getting this section in water. With the contractor's work almost complete, water is going in, and now it's the turn of the volunteers again, to create towpaths and planting environments. Let's take a look at some of what has been happening during the last week of October 2023. Good morning. Uh, well, here we are again at Darnford Moors Ecology Park. Uh, we're at the situation where the lining is now complete. On site have done a, a wonderful job in getting the lining completed, but storms over the last few days did cause a little bit of damage, a bit of washout on the side, and on site are back on site again today, and they are using our machine to, to do some remedial works and refill that bit of washout with some stone. Um, in addition today, we're very fortunate to have on for the second day uh, of three uh, days with Jaguar Land Rover, corporate volunteers here. And they came down and they did something like 70 metres of towpath I'm standing on now, yesterday. And the challenge to the, the team we've got on site today is to do more than 70 metres. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good day. The lads have really stuck themselves into it. And we've got our own volunteers here as well to help. Um, operate our machines in and around and deliver stone to them to make the job run as smoothly as possible. And we've actually got several people here who've actually been before, right. which is useful. Um, some of them have been three on three, three times, so they recognised me, I didn't recognise them. <laughs> but, so uh, a good day, lots of work going on and uh, our own volunteers here and the Jaguar Land Rover and on site are on site. Today, um, the situation is that they have just on site have just delivered a, a much more substantial water pump to, uh, to, to pump and start to fill than the tiny pump that they had up there. Um, they, they've got some work to do. There's a, an adapter they need to, to bring and that will then be filling this um, um, hopefully up for, for the full testing regime that they need to go through. So uh, uh, another, another step forward. 
And what, what you see in front of you now is something like 550 metres of completed canal that is ready to be in water. So yes, a momentous occasion for us. It's, it's, it's a real, real milestone. Um, they've they've now moved into testing uh, the whole the whole section now that all 550 meters um, they they went through the early test regimes they they were going through a number of processes to to make sure it is compliant and that's the intention now is to do that on the whole section it's time to start filming sound bites for this year's big gift campaign we need to raise funds to replace our aging three and five ton diggers Yes, this is an old digger. We've had it since we were doing the, uh, the culverts at um, Summer Hill. It's given us good service. It's a bit old and nanky now, but it's uh, done well for its years. Had issues with the tracks coming off, but we sorted that. We had issues with the engine. It's all been sorted and kept in good running order, thanks to Steve and his crew. Uh, but we're looking forward to replacing it. We're lucky to have people like Steve. That oh, very lucky, yes. He's a very, very capable man. I think 25 grand will probably find us a good second-hand one. Right. Donate to the Big Give. Don't forget that. Everything you donate will be doubled. Donate now. <laughs> no, not now. It's actually it's the 28th of November to the... Yeah, well, you can edit, edit, that. That. edit that one out. <laughs> <laughs> one donation, twice the impact. Yeah, say so one donation, twice the impact. One donation, twice the impact. Yeah. On Thursday, we were paid a visit by Jacob Eyre of the Wesleyan Foundation and Dan Gamson of the Wesleyan Group. The Trust was delighted to receive funding from the Wesleyan Foundation's Climate Action Grant of £21,350. This has made it possible for our visiting volunteer teams to create new footpaths, as well as enabling our main contractor to complete the waterproof lining materials in the final 100 metres.